already seen Wednesday Addams both as a child and as an adult, so Netflix decided to fill in the gaps on her teenage years for us. Which is both exciting and scary. But there are a few more reasons why Wednesday coming to Netflix is big news. First, the director of the show is Tim Burton, and as we all know by his movies Sleepy Hollow, Sweeney Todd, Beetlejuice, and The Night Before Christmas. This man knows how to handle gothic aesthetics and dark humor. Even though we don't know who will be cast as Wednesday, three things are obvious. It definitely won't be Helena Bonham Carter. Christina Ricci is highly unlikely to return. And if the new actress, chosen for Wednesday's role, hasn't had any previous star roles, this is sure to be the one. That's true. Another thing about this project is that Netflix is not just making a feature movie, but a whole live-action series. Meaning, we'll get to enjoy our sarcastic goth girl's adventures for a long time. And adventures there will be. There will be a series of murders, a family mystery, and, well, school years at the Nevermore Academy for Wednesday to deal with. But knowing Wednesday, she'll cope just fine. The whole series will be dedicated to Wednesday alone, and so far it's not known whether any of her iconic relatives will appear on the show. Though, considering that she'll have to solve a mystery about her parents, maybe we'll at least see them. The only thing that makes me worry a bit about the Wednesday series is that Netflix clearly enjoys producing shows about schools of witchcraft that inevitably contain mysteries, gloomy secrets, and dark magic. I mean, there was the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina series, then there was Faith the Wink Saga. It would be a pity if Wednesday was just… another one of these magic shows. That's a valid concern. After all, one of the reasons why the Adams Family has such a unique atmosphere is that the Adams Family differs so much from the people that surround them. Wednesday studying at a local school, now that would produce a contrast between her and her peers. But the very name of Nevermore Academy suggests that Wednesday will fit in there just fine, losing her uniqueness and becoming one of the many girls that prefer sarcasm, dark clothes, and magic. You mean becoming a teenager? I'm sure you got my point. Unfortunately, I did. But Tim Burton as a director might solve this issue. I don't think that he is capable of creating something generic. So that means we can hope for something more exquisite than Wing Saga or Riverdale when it comes to Wednesday. Well, we'll just have to wait for the trailer to get our hopes or fears partially confirmed. By the way, Mr. Scoffer, I've always been curious. Why is Wednesday's name Wednesday? Good question, Mr. Fully Lover. The creator of the Adams Family, Charles Adams, named Wednesday according to a line in a nursery rhyme, Monday's Child. Wednesday's Child is full of woe. Well, that's clever. It is indeed. So, what do you guys think about Wednesday coming to Netflix? Are you excited or not so much? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to Cartoon Junkies.